Uh, Hardcore Holly comes out, but he is interrupted by a new stalker video. And uh, oh, see, well, yeah, this, this happened. They quickly. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. They recap the stalker videos while telling us the Undertaker is not there tonight. He's at home protecting Sarah, which is where, of course, he should be. So good for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, actually, Finally. he should be at work, not having to worry about a stalker. Well, that'd be a better. <laughs> That's option. where he should be. Yeah. So then Harker Holly comes out. Then there is a new stalker video. He says, "I'm right here in Tampa." But yesterday, I was in Texas filming with Taker and Sarah. And he's hiding in their work shed or something. And they're getting in their truck. And he, Taker tells Sarah to get her dad's skill saw. But then remembers he's got gonna your need dad's to- skill saw. Yeah. He's such a redneck now. He was a dead man. Yes. But now he's like, he's got a truck and he's on a farm and he's got these tools they are going to bring to dad. Like, wow. Yeah, those rednecks with those trucks and those This tools. is quite the departure here. <laughs> yeah. So, he remembers he's going to need that saw tomorrow. We'll take it over next week. Craig, show me the back of your neck right now. I want to see it. Turn around. Yep. Damn straight. Look at that. Whew. So, the stalker then announces, Your tomorrows are over. Tonight, there will be no more disguising my voice. No more hiding my face. Tonight, the world will find out who I am and why I'm here. I just wish Sarah was here with me. Your tomorrows are no more? He's going to kill them both? I guess so. Wow. At this point, the show is halfway over, and we have seen maybe 10 minutes of actual pro wrestling. Well, I got to talk about this next segment here, because this was mind-blowing to me. So The Undertaker's music hits... Paul Heyman goes crazy, calls Jim Ross a liar. You said Undertaker was at home, but he's here. But no, a masked man rides down to ringside on a motorcycle. And Jim Ross astutely notes this is not The Undertaker. So the guy gets in the ring. There's no swerve, nothing. He just reaches his hand up, and he yanks off his mask. And it is Diamond Dallas Page, (gasps) World Championship Wrestling. The fans fucking go crazy for DDP. Mm -hmm. He then cuts this promo, which actually was a great promo. It was an awesome promo. In a lot of different ways. Because first off, he's straight from WCW. There is no NXT to send him to. He just shows up and he starts cutting this promo. And he's talking to everybody in the building. He's talking to people on the hard cam side. He'll turn around, he'll talk to people on the other side so he can't see his face. It feels so real and natural as compared to the WWE way of doing things. My mind was blown. It's like, why do these people have to look at this fucking hard cam all the time? So then, he explains. The Undertaker always claimed that He was not afraid of anything. But Undertaker, you are a liar. Look at you running around. You're all worried about your wife. He explains that when he heard The Undertaker say, Steve Austin, don't mess with my wife, that's when he figured this out. That's when he decided he was going to stalk The Undertaker's wife. Why? Because his whole life he had been told... You aren't famous until you go to the big show. And when you go to the big show, you go after the biggest, baddest guy, and that's The Undertaker. And he says, Undertaker, you say you're going to make people famous. Well, I want you to make me famous. And he vows he's going to be at the King of the Ring, whether he has to go and buy a ticket or not. You know what's so amazing about this promo? Everybody remembers that the stalker angle is shitty and it's DDP is a stalker and it's a disaster and that's all people remember about this right uh for the most part yeah well what and it when I watch it now I'm just like Jesus God almighty this had so much fucking potential oh yeah they flat out DDP flat out admits he's not a fucking stalker Mm -hmm. He was pretending to stalk this guy's wife because he knew that was the one way to get the Undertaker's attention. 
this first interview, this first angle was fucking great. If they just would have had a clue about how to follow up on this, this could have been a home run. But spoiler, everybody, Undertaker beats the shit out of this guy 500 times. He beats him repeatedly, and DDP doesn't get jack shit out of this, and they fuck it up. But boy, did this thing have some potential on day one. This was awesome. This was undeniably, without a doubt, the greatest moment of DDP's entire WWF run. It goes all downhill from here. Deep, deep, deep downhill. It's unbelievably awesome. He's He comes off as one of the biggest stars on this show in his first appearance on this show. He's a huge star. He does a great performance in this promo. But, like, even... even Obviously, it's 19 years ago, and it's famous. It's one, it's one of the biggest aspects of why the invasion was such a miserable failure is DDP and the Stalkers. Everyone remembers that. So I knew I knew it was dead in the water even as I'm watching this, but even if I didn't know it was going to be dead in the water, I would have known at the very end when they send out three old, fat security guards to dispatch a page, and he can't even do one diamond cutter on them. He has to flee through the crowd. If he had just done one diamond cutter, the place goes nuts. Now you're going to see this. Should have done three. It, uh, three would have been better, but even one would have made a massive difference. And think and it convinced everyone this guy's this guy is coming. And he means business, and Taker could be in trouble. It was kind of sad because you had Diamond Dallas in the ring from WCW. And the WCW invasion part of this storyline was an afterthought. Uh, it's kind of true. Um, the 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 next match, which we'll get to in a second, but it, it's it's Edge and Saturn, and the announcers spend the entire time talking about Taker and DDP, and they mention whether any of us want to get caught up in this or not. This is going to involve WWF and WCW now, which is true. Everyone is now involved in this invasion just because of what Taker, what what DDP has done to Taker. So, the person that is a huge deal. So. 